Welcome to the Techie CV tutorial. Today we will discuss about merge join in Pentaho. So here I am using two sources, both has Excel input. So in your scenario, it can be one database, one file. It can be both files, CSV or text or Excel. So here I am using two Excel inputs. So one of the condition of using merging join is you have to make sure that the data before that is sorted so here as you can see my first excel is employee first which has two fields employee id employee name second is employee salary which has two fields employee id salary now i am sorting both the files by employee id employee id now I'll show you the data which is there in the input file. The second file which is employee salary, it has two columns, employee ID and salary. And two employee exist in this file, 1001 which has salary 10,000, 1002 which has salary 20,000. We'll go to the other file which is employee first. It has two columns, employee ID and employee name, 1001 Rashmi, 1002 Gitanjali, 1003 Roshan. Now, in merge join, there are four types of join which is mentioned. Here, the key field between the two source of data is employee ID. So, we'll be joining the two streams of data based on employee ID. First, we will apply inner join. Inner join, we all are aware of when the condition is satisfied, only those set of rows will be returned. Now, we will run this. It has been executed. We'll see the output file. As you can see, two rows are returns employee ID, employee name, and salary. Before I share this result, so in Pentaho, I kept Excel as output. Whose name is scenario one and fields are employee ID, employee name and salary. So as we have already seen in the output file, there are three columns and two rows are written in case of inner join. Now we'll go to left outer join. Left outer join is when the conditions are matched, those rows are returned and when condition is not matched, the data from the left side table and all the null values from the right side table. Now we will save this transformation and run it again. So this we are running for left outer join. Now we will see the output file again. As you can see three rows are returned employee ID, employee name and salary. So third Roshan whose salary was not mentioned in the second sheet that's why data returned as null. Now the third type of join which is right outer join. So there are two rows which is there in the right table. So total number of rows which will return is two. We'll run the transformation again. Let's see the output. As you can see, two rows are returned. Now fourth type of join, which is full. Full outer join, what it does is, when the condition is matched, those rows will, will be returned and the remaining rows which are there in either in left side of table or right side of the table. So as we have seen there are two streams of data both are excel so in first stream of data we have three rows and in second stream of data we have two rows out of which two rows from each of the stream of data is getting matched so two rows are returned now in first excel we have three rows third row 
is not getting match so total number of rows which will return on full outer join is 3 now we will save this transformation and run it again see the output it has returned 3 rows so this is how merge join works in pentaho if you have any query related to this you can comment on this video please subscribe it if you like it thank you for watching thank you very much